in the name of Jesus. I'm going to be praying with you right now, and I believe you have lifted up your heart to the Father. I believe you've lifted up your heart to God. And you want him to divinely strengthen you to carry on his assignment, to carry on his task. I believe you, you want to see yourself exploiting and doing exploits for him. Daniel chapter 11 from verse 31 to 32. It says, Blessed are they that know their God, for they shall be strong and shall do exploit for their God. For those who lay down their lives, you can't help it but do exploits for God. And I want to pray for an encouragement for you that you shall do exploits, more exploits for him in the name of Jesus. Starting from your very little testimony. As we pray, do not forget to share your prayer request. Do not forget to send your demands. Do not forget to share whatever you have to share through the text that will be displayed on your screen. Or to write to us through the email address as I'm praying with you. Or you can visit the website and give us your testimonies. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch for these holy hands and I pray for this one that is watching in the name of Jesus. They have heard this word about laying down their life. I pray that you who have laid down your life, let there be deeper revelations of his love in the name of Jesus. Let there be a deeper revelation of the way you ought to go and how you ought to carry on the divine assignment that you are ordained to carry in the name of Jesus. Let there be help from above. Be strengthened from Zion. I pray for the power and gift of the Holy Spirit to be signaled and strengthened within you in the name of Jesus. I pray for the power and grace of God. Let it take preeminence and let every sign and wonders that you need to experience be expressed in your life and be imparted right now in the name of Jesus. You in ministry, let there be a difference in touch. Let there be another anointing. Let there be a fresh empowerment for you to carry on greater tasks and to mount on greater heights in the name of Jesus. To you that have refused for a time past to listen to the command of God, to you that have refused in time past to yield your heart to the love of God, Jesus is reaching you. And as you confess and ask the Lord Jesus Christ to, to, to take the hold of you as you receive his life and acknowledge that he died on the cross for you and that you want to live for him and you are asking for his grace I pray let the grace of God overwhelm you in the name of Jesus Christ is calling and is calling men everywhere and is calling you all the time you who have received that calling, that divine calling, call to share. There is always that calling to manifest His grace and His power. I pray that when you are called to pray, you will respond. I pray that your heart will be given to, to search His word, precept upon precept, line upon line, and know the truth in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will be yielded to the fellowship of the saints and you will not give up. You need a place to fellowship. You've been reluctant. I pray that the Lord open your eyes to find a place where you shall be blessed and you shall also bless in the name of Jesus. What business is there? What engagement is there that has overwhelmed and overshadowed you and you cannot manifest grace? Oh, Father, whatever would cause the one that is listening not to serve you, for they were safe to serve, whatever would cause you not to serve him, you who are listening, whatever will cause you not to serve him, I pray let it be slashed away from you. I pray let God restore you with that which shall sustain you and yet shall make you serve him. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, touch the business. Touch that vocation. Touch that career. Whatever career that they have received, if it is not their call, enable them to drop it. Whatever career you've received, whatever calling you've received, you don't know how to operate it to still remain in the love of God and operate as a living sacrifice. I pray that God opens you up to see how to go about it in the name of Jesus. Are you a police 
worker, police officer, constable, commissioner, whatever rank, are you in the military? The reason why you can serve God wherever you are. I pray that the Lord opens your eyes to know how to serve without compromise in the name of Jesus. Are you a medical doctor? Are you a nurse? Are you a businessman? I pray that the Lord will open your eyes to know how to carry on that vocation without failing in the name of Jesus. I pray your job wouldn't be the reason why you are living like an idolater. Oh, Father, your blessings maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. Someone prayed for job and when it came, they found out that their link with you is breaking. That connection is breaking. I pray that as you repent from staying away from him, let that connection be stayed again in the name of Jesus. Someone's hand is lifted up and there is the power of God that you are sensing. It's a sign. You feel your hands. It's, it's vibrating. Oh, Father, touch to the depth of their soul. Touch to the depth. Let there be a re rejuvenation of, of the lifeliness, of the love that they had for you in the name of Jesus. You who are getting to love him, I pray that your love be sustained. To you whose love has been opposed and oppressed by evil powers and evil forces. I pray let there be a break of it in the name of Jesus. Let every evil contention be broken from your shoulders in the name of Jesus. Apostle Paul says, having such a great cloud of witness that surrounds us, let us lay aside every weight and sin that so easily ensnare us and run with perseverance the race that is set before us. I pray that those weights, let them drop from your shoulders in the name of Jesus. Let your eyes be open to receive him the more in the name of Jesus. You would continue to pray. You would continue to call on him and ask him to strengthen you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. We have prayed. It's not ended here. I'm going to go off air. But I want you to stay in the place of prayer. You can always join me in prayer. You can always send your prayer requests and your testimonies through the text, through text, through the numbers that are displayed on your screen. Or you can write through the email address that is displayed on your screen. Or you can visit our website. Once again, it's been the Life in Christ series on CMTV. And I've been your host, Pastor Betro. I'm the senior pastor of Eternal Life Ministry. And you've been greatly blessed, I believe, in this program. In whatever way you want to reach us, you can always reach us through our website. Or you can always send requests through the lines that we display. Hallelujah. It's been a blessing having you. I bring you warm greetings from Eternal Life Ministry. My members in church say I should give everything to both of us. And I'm greeting you now on their behalf. It will be a great pleasure to have you. It will be a great pleasure to hear from you. It will be a great pleasure to see you and to pray with you. Once again, you remain in the love and in the grace of God. Let it keep garrison your heart. And I know the Lord will keep you safe until we see you again next Monday at 6 p.m. and on the read broadcast along the course of the week. Stay in touch for we are going to be again next Monday at 6 p.m. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.